Hi, it's Black Witchess. Thanks for joining me. Now, today I'm going to share with you my method for making a magic wand. Um, I've had the pleasure to travel to so many states over the past couple of months in the USA, um, also around the world. Uh, so I've had the ability to collect wood from different trees for different purposes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a magic wand for a general purpose. And this video will be a little bit different because I'm going to teach you how to charge this with sound. Now in Celtic traditions, each tree has a different purpose. So maybe you want to have a look into that. Um, but for me, it was really important to collect a piece of oak wood for the the magic wand for general purposes. And I collected a few pieces of wood to begin with. Um, and I put them on my altar, on my ancestral altar, just to meditate on which piece I really wanted or which piece was going to end up being my wand. And uh, this piece ends up being it. And what I did, I trimmed it back. So it was probably from my elbow to nearly the tip of my fingers. You can see that. And, um, and what I did is I just um, did a little ceremony and just asking my um, ancestors and spirit guides, is this the one for me and so forth, whatever has meaning to you. The next thing I did was I trimmed it back and I got a little piece of, this is sandpaper, and I rubbed it back. Rubbed it back till it was in its raw estate. I took all the bark off it and so forth. And before, um, I do anything with this I'm going to rub some oil into it because even with consecration although this is a, a style of consecration in itself I want to protect this wood while it's in its raw estate I'm not going to leave it laying around where it's it's so open to moisture or water or other energy so I want to seal in the purpose of this wand almost immediately after I've stripped it back the way I'm going to do this, oh, and let me just say, of course, maybe depending on your tradition, you want to make sure that you're working in a space that you're feeling um, comfortable working in. So whether you're working within a circle, whether you're drawn down your elements, whatever you do, you get into that. You get into that state. This video isn't teaching you that; it's just teaching you how to make the wand. Um, there's so many other great videos out there on making wands, but I just really want to show you how to do it with um, with the element of sound and charging it. So what I'm doing, because it's a general purpose wand that'll probably do a lot of lighter love spells, I'm just using some rose or rose hip oil. I'm going to mix that in with a little High John Conqueror. And I'm also going to use some of my blood. Now I'm not going to show you me cutting my finger because younger people watch these videos for, and you only need a few drops and then you mix all of that in. Now whatever incantation you want to say while you're rubbing the oil into your stick you just want to be thinking about the purpose of your wand as you're rubbing in this oil, that's for sure. So this is a general purpose wand. I'm thinking about all the positive things and the positive results that I want. Um, Hi John is really good as well because what it does, Hi John is for wealth, it's for love, it's for luck, it's for prosperity.
The next thing I want to do is create some symbols on this wand that are going to reflect the intention that is going to give the wand protection and that I can visualize when I'm using this wand and keep the purpose and intention of that spell in, in and wand in place. So this is a very personalized symbol, whatever means something to you. So if you're a witch that you might want to inscribe some symbols from the witch's alphabet on here. Uh, for me personally, being the coven leader for Black Witch Coven, I will put our sigil that we created, the witch name, you could inscribe that in there as well. But there is no right and wrong in inscribing anything into your wand. I just recommend doing something that means something to you. So as you can see now, I've got a pretty cool looking wand. For me, this feels really good. Um, it's a great length. Remember I said the length should be from my elbow, really to, the, to my fingertips. So that works really well for me. Um, so from my elbow to the top of my hand, if you can see that. And for me, even though the crystal is quite heavy, for me, it feels really good to have more weight at the front end. Okay, so when I'm doing things or charging things, it feels really quite good. So why I created a wand with copper and a beautiful crystal at the end is so I can charge it with sound. So I can actually raise the vibration of this wand, right? And, and to have that vibration go through the wood, to charge it with energy and making sure that when I touch the copper, when my, the atoms in my body, okay, react with the charge, it's going to create power for me. So I wanted to share with you something. Let me just put this on. I want to show you something. Now this is a sound of atoms, okay? And this is to create energy within an object. So this isn't just my um, BS witchy bullcrap, right? This is actually by physicists. So how does this charge a wand? Well, you've got to actually research a little bit about this because this is science. This isn't just um, our witchy poo stuff. This is actually hardcore science. So um, it's there's many experiments that show the effect of sounds um, reacting with atoms and creating the energy within objects. In fact, that's how our world, our universe was created, the splitting of atoms. And it's through sound that um, they found that makes atoms splits and creates the energy, right? And that's exactly what we're doing with our wand here. 
So uh, you can read up, I'll give you the link below, you can look into this a little bit further. But remember, it's the same principle as uh, what I've posted before in the rice experiment. Remember I was saying that, or you can check out the video, where there, there's been thousands of experiments done where they show that the effect of a word on, um, on an object, say rice, that's just been covered in water, put in a jar, and they've got three different jars, and one they say hateful words to, one they ignored, and one they say positive words to, the, the jars that are, have been ignored or have had hateful messages on them, right? The power and energy of negative force, and that's just by words, has physically changed the look of the rice um, from hate, changed the look of the rice that was ignored, and absolutely changed the rice that was given some positive energy, positive vibrations, the effect of words. It's really, really powerful. And as, as a witch or an occultist, you have to understand the science behind all of this. So I'm going to leave this with you. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to make your wand, but this is a really fun and scientific way, if you like, to make a wand and charge it with some really powerful vibrations. All right, look forward to your questions. Bye for now.